My name is Julien Tailleb, I'm professor of uh, GI Oncology in Georges Pompidou European Hospital in Paris. So we know since more than 30 years now that right-sided colon cancer are different from left-sided with a worse prognosis. This is clear in all the analyses that have been performed since 30 years, but what is now new is that with the current therapies, with the targeted agents and modern chemotherapeutic regimen, this is also true. So we have confirmed recently with big uh, subset analyses that right-sided tumors are of worse prognosis in the modern uh, chemotherapeutic uh, era. So treatment decision making is influenced by um, more than uh, uh, the tumor location, tumor biology, and we have two markers that, to my opinion, are needed upfront for every patient is the BRAF mutational status, which is a very important prognostic factor, and that may also guide us to have an aggressive therapy as a first-line treatment and non uh, uh, a real 5FU alone or 5FU on targeted agent alone therapy. And the second one is the RAS assessment, which is of major importance because this will define a subset of uh, patients that are very sensitive to anti-GFR therapy and will probably uh, make us use this therapy as a first-line treatment in these patients. I think that in RAS wild type patients, uh, currently we have to favor NTAGFR first line because it induces more tumor shrinkage, it increases overall survival as compared to antiangiogenic agent, for example. Um, we don't know for PFS, but clearly there, are, there is more evidence to think that there is an advantage for the patient to start with an anti-HFR therapy if he is RAS wild type. Of course, in RAS mutant, anti-HFR therapy are not allowed because they are probably inefficient and maybe detrimental with some chemotherapeutic back backbone. And in this case, the only targeted agents in addition to chemotherapy is bevacizumab currently. So recently we've seen that right and left colon cancer were reanalyzed on a head-to-head -head comparison of bevacizumab and cetuximab in the CLGB trial. The point is that in this result, subgroup analysis result, we can see that the uh, left-sided uh, uh, colon cancer benefit a lot from anti-HFR therapy with uh, overall survival that are almost at 40 months, uh, which is very unreached before as far as I know. This is also true in another uh, uh, analysis from the FIRE free trial with the same results, almost 40 months of median overall survival, which is really impressive. Uh, for the right-sided, it's more complex because right-sided tumors are very few in numbers, so the uh, statistical analysis is less powered. And what uh, we have uh, as data now is that there is no difference between bevacizumab and cetuximab, and that both drugs do exactly the same for the right-sided tumor, even if in the CLGB there was a trend for benefit to bevacizumab in this population, but non-significant trend. So I think that, first of all, we don't have to change our practice based on a subgroup analysis. If we want to change our practice on subgroup analysis, we will not use, for example, bevacizumab in RAS mutant patients because in the TML and other trial, bevacizumab was not efficient in the subgroup of RAS mutants. So subgroup analyses are here to generate clinical trials, not to change practice. I would say that uh, clearly RAS remains a major marker to be performed upfront for each patient with metastatic colorectal cancer because this is the best way we have today to choose our targeted agent. RAS wild type will receive anti GFR therapies, RAS mutant will not. And I would say that sinus is just an exploratory analysis that brings some data that are more related to the molecular uh, differences between right and left than to the sinus really of the tumor. So to my opinion, I would say that currently there is probably enough uh, uh, arguments with the FIRE-free CLGB and 
in the very near future some uh, pooled analysis of uh, crystal and, 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 uh, and fire-free together. Uh, to say that in left-sided colon cancer it seems that cetuximab is very efficient. So I would say that ras white type left-sided it is sure that we have to perform cetuximab in all our patients. For right-sided it seems that both agents, bevacizumab and cetuximab may do the same. But to my opinion it's very important also to treat a patient uh, with an anti-HFR therapy when he's RAS wild type currently. Maybe in the future we will be able to find new markers to better define the sensitive population to anti-HFR therapy, but currently it's RAS wild type. And not to give this drug at any time point would be really a loss of chance for my patients. So I would also probably prefer to use anti-HFR in every RAS wild type patient.